Local baseball legends J.C. Daniels and Larry Dixon broke color barriers here in Greenville in the late 1960s, playing for the Greenville Babe Ruth team in Guy Smith Stadium. Daniels and the late Dixon are being honored for their trailblazing efforts. Nine of your sides, Abigail Velez joins us live at Guy Smith with a look at tonight's ceremony. Ken, it's a great day here in Greenville. Dixon and Daniels are known for making space for people of color in the sport of baseball. Now the ceremony just wrapped up and JC Daniels threw out the first pitch at this Little League game that's taking place just right behind me. Now earlier today, I spoke to Ronald Vincent of Greenville Babe Ruth Baseball, as well as JC Daniels' family to learn a little bit more about their legacy. Take a look. I think representation matters. Uh. JC Daniels joined the Pitt Greenville Babe Ruth Baseball League in the 60s, a time that many black athletes were trying to find a space in the sport. Uh, when he got to the, you know, to the pros, when he got into major leagues, uh, he experienced uh, um, some racism as far as, you know, how hard he had to fight to uh, get a starting position. And, uh, you know, some of the, even some of the coaches discriminating against him. Uh, didn't like the fact that he was even on the team. Daniels tells me his uncle fought through the hard times and still had a profound influence on his family. It had a great impact on me. Um, it had a great impact on his kids too. We all grew up playing baseball. So we, we come from a baseball family, which was very rare, you know, you know during the era, era that he came up, came up in. Not only did he impact his family, but also Eastern North Carolina. It's, it's meant a lot. Thousands, thousands of black kids have played Pitt County Babe Ruth since JC and Larry came along. You know, somebody, somebody had to have courage to do it. And uh, JC and Larry had the courage to do it. People just in today's, you know, in today's time, knowing about my uncle, you know, I, you know I've known him all my life, but to see p people mention his name, you know, people mention his name and speak of him in uh, such high regard when it comes to, to baseball, um, you know, is, uh, it, it definitely um, impacts me and uh, impacts our family. Now, city officials as well as family of Dixon and Daniels were in attendance of the ceremony tonight. Now, J.C. Daniels' family tells me that his life wasn't perfect, but it was well worth remembering. Live in Greenville, Abigail Velez, 9 on your side. Abigail, thanks.